Hello Rocketeers! Welcome back to the custom mission to Arcus miniset, Echoes of Eridath. All the cards for the miniset have been out for a while now, and I've looked through all your responses and feedback on the cards. And sure enough, there are a couple of cards that you suggested I change. So I would like to thank everyone here on YouTube and on Discord for their comments. And now, let me show you the cards that I've changed. Several of the cards from the miniset were considered a bit too powerful. So this video will contain mostly nerfs. The first card getting nerfed is Feral Felfin for Shaman and Demon Hunter. As it turns out, giving Wind Fury to the Demon Hunter hero is not a good idea. So this card will no longer give Wind Fury, but will instead allow your hero to attack an additional enemy minion. Its health has been slightly increased to compensate. This change should be more fair, but the card has unfortunately lost some of its Shaman identity. The next card changing is Wrathbringer for Demon Hunter and Warrior. This card has both a battle cry and an outcast effect, but the battle cry in particular was a bit too easily attained, so the effects of the battle cry and outcast will now be swapped. Echoes of Eridath introduced cards for Warlock that were perhaps a bit too powerful, so two of their dual class cards are now getting nerfed. The first is Shadow Bloom for Druid and Warlock. This card was just too strong, so instead of giving you 2 mana crystals this turn, Shadow Bloom will now only refresh 2 mana crystals. This nerf is ironically pretty similar to the one Lightning Bloom got back in the day. The other Warlock card getting nerfed is Shadowbound Totem for Warlock and Shaman. While in theory this card's effect is impactful in all classes, the design just favored Warlock, so it will now also have a downside that benefits Shaman, that being Overload 1. Just to be clear, the overload is just a one-time effect and will not trigger at the end of your turns. The last card getting nerfed is the neutral legendary Archimon the Defiler. This card should be able to pull off some powerful combos in many classes, but it was deemed a bit too consistently powerful alongside cards like Consecration in Hand Buff Paladin. So Archimon will now have its cost increased to 8, making that combo significantly harder to pull off. That's it for all the nerfs, but there's also a single card getting buffed. Velen Proactive Prophet is getting slightly better. His text will remain the same, but his battle cry will now function a bit differently. Velen will now counter the card you chose, no matter what if the opponent plays it next turn, even if Velen has died. This is what the text suggests the card should do, so that's what it'll do now. Well, that's actually it for all the balance changes. Let me know if you thought the changes were a step in the right direction. And consider subscribing to the channel for more custom Hearthstone content. I got some new stuff coming out soon that I'm pretty excited to share. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time!